gon' tell me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invaders them. It's your boy Noto Coming to you another video, coming to you another podcast, man. In today's podcast, we're going to discuss body game. Women are always checking out a man's body, man. If you're new here or you're already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this topic, man. Let's get into this topic, guys. Bro, 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 bro. No, it's all. Hey, like, no, no, you talk about that body game. Once again, shout out to Mr. The Field master himself, Ron Wills, for bringing this into the space, man. Much, much, much respect to the OG. Uh, and get what, get well, OG. I see he's getting a lot better. But anyway, women are always checking out a man's body, man. No matter where you go at, no matter what you're doing, no matter what situation you in, no, no matter what type of environment you in, no matter what y'all doing, y'all y'all could just be doing some study and they still gonna be checking out your damn body. That's a lot of things. A lot of guys try to get past. They always checking out a man's body, bro. No matter what you think, no matter what you think, no matter what you wear, no matter what you put over that body, they are still checking out the body itself. See, because that is the thing. It's a primal nature for them. It is primal for them to check out a man's body. That, that's, that's what has to be on top of them. That's what has to be. That's what has to touch them. That's what has to caress them. That is what they have to feel on. That is what gets them off. That, that is what's going to have to be, begin to attract them. Why don't men think that women are not attracted to a man's body? They don't want to get that done. They, they, they don't want to get that. Uh, They don't want to get that aspect of life uh fixed. They just want to go straight after the money. They don't want to try to go after the, the body. Well, guess what? Newsflash, buddy. Newsflash. Uh, women like a man with a nice body. In, what, in whatever shape that may be. Because there are different body types. Most definitely. But I'm going to get into that later. I'm going to get into that later. But my thing is, guys, don't just focus on just the finances, bro. Don't focus on just the finances. Get your body in order. And not even just for just the women. Not even just for the women, but at the same time, your body is your vehicle. So if people are like, oh man, oh man, no, 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 I ain't doing this for the women, man. I ain't trying to try to get it for the women. I ain't trying to do it for these girls, man. With your lying ass. Your lying ass. Shut the fuck up. Your lying ass up. No damn well if you get your body, your body right, you're going to want some girls to talk to you. Because if, if you do that and you get your body to the point where you feel like you're looking muscular and ain't no girls checking for you, your ass going to stop. You gonna lose confidence. Shut the fuck up, lying and shit. That lying ass shit. I hate when dudes stand saying that. You lying, bitch. You know damn well you wanna attract the other sex. So stop bullshit. This is this is made up in us. This is us for us to pro, wanna pre, pro, procreate. This is what what makes us want to want to spread our seed. This is what looks represents fertility. This is in our DNA. It's in our makeup, Thomas. You don't want to look the strongest. You don't want to look the best to attract other women. Every animal on this earth lives to mate and procreate. To uh, to uh, lives to um, pass on their genes. And in order to do that, they have to look appealing to the other sex. That is just in their nature. We are mammals as well. We are mammals as well. Ain't no animals trying to go out there and try to go buy some dripper or nothing like that. No, they're looking within themselves. So look, let's look at let's look at this from the uh, from the animal kingdom. Let's look at this from its source, nature. We are mammals. They look at the strongest. The bears, they, they look, female bears look at the strongest bears. The female gorillas look at the strongest gorilla, the silverback gorilla. So if you want to look at it like that, yeah, they want the strongest looking guy. Looks like he can care. Oh, yeah. You look like he can show the responsibility. You look like he can shout out to Ron Wills. You look like he can like throw some shit around. Look physically imposing. Look able. Look capable. You see what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with that. It ain't nothing wrong with it. And they checking for that. They are checking for that. It ain't just about these extra aesthetics and physiques and all this. And, oh, you got to look like a gym shark athlete. No, the fuck you don't. No, you don't. I'm tired of dudes doing that. You don't have to look like a fucking gym or athlete. You don't have to have an extra lean physique. 
No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. In fact, I'm going to show some videos right here. I'm going to show some videos right here. This is me at 234. At 234. Now, this is the big man game. It, and like I say, you guys, I always spread to you guys reality. Reality. This is the this is the same weight right here. Now we're smashing dancers. You know the dancers they be in front of the band. Oh yeah, looking good, dancing like that. But teat bodies fine. Everybody want to hit them. I was hitting them at this weight. At this weight. You gonna call me a liar? I was attracting them at this weight. Yes, with this body build, most definitely. See, the thing is, being at a higher body fat percentage doesn't matter when you have muscle under there. That's the whole point of lifting weights. You can be 200. I was 234 pounds with uh at 59. 5'9. So uh you would say that I'm obese. But your boy is a mother freaking beast. They looked at your boy as a mother freaking beast. Look at me. I was agile, I could move around. I I look, I look like I lift. I look like some type of linebacker. I look like some type of dude that that had some umph to him. So it ain't just saying, okay, just be a big guy, big fat guy. No, I'm not saying that. Be a big guy that got some stock to him. Got some muscle to him. Look at the silverback gorilla. He ain't he ain't lean and shredded. He look bulky with his fur or whatever. They still they got they still got they still got uh stomachs on them, but they still look physically imposing. You ain't go you, you ain't gonna run your ass up on that gorilla. That gorilla gonna knock your motherfucking ass out. I guarantee that. Even the other gorillas in the troop that is that ain't even a silverback will knock your ass out. So let's not even go there. Tell me someone you gotta be a stutter because you speak, man. Shut your ass up. It don't matter if you if you if you big as a gorilla or lean as a chimpanzee. Bro, and those are just examples. Those are just examples. Doesn't matter. Because in this video, these videos right here, I was smashing chicks that were petite. They were attracted to me. I don't know why guys don't feel like feel like that you can't be a bigger man and pull women. I don't understand what, what that is. I don't know if the the, the uh, fitness industry is clouded. A lot of y'all buyers feel like, oh, you have to be movie star shape and, and all this. And, and it got to be about your face and all this other shit. Shut up, bro. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. That shit don't matter. I'm gonna tell you right now that shit does not matter a lot of women's imprints these days are not what you think they are a lot of them a lot of their dads are shaped bigger bigger guys that look like club bouncers and stuff like that you don't think that they would want to see that in a man that they're seeing as a potential suitor you don't think that oh a man probably could have uh saved her from a, a a building someday a fireman or something like that and now all of a sudden she got this like for dudes with that same body you just don't never know what the story could be that's all i'm gonna get get into with that so you being a bigger guy get in the gym hit the weights the more muscle you got on your frame the better you'll look at a higher body fat percentage so for those be like oh no though you might need to get her you might need to cut it down but i don't give a fuck right now i can still get the chest same chicks right now right now i'm doing my cut right now for me because I never pushed it to this limit. I want to get to uh, get down to about 10% for me. It's not that I need to. Because at the end of the day, it's not, I don't need to do that. Not, not for the purpose of getting a woman. Oh, the, the woman want me now. As I am. Even at that weight, they wanted me. And they showed me. I got results from that. So for guys that saying like, oh, you got to be this way. That you got to look like this. Shut the fuck up. Do not listen to them. I can speak from the big man side of things. Big guys, lift them damn weights. Look like you can look like you can lift and, and throw some stuff around. As you can see in these videos, I had stomach. But I still had muscle. I still had muscle. I still had that beast element to me. And they saw that and they liked that. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. The way the way that it that it happened. Now, if you from the outside looking in, you wouldn't think that it is, but you you see you seeing that in person. You see how I was going down in person, working out around the, the girls' basketball team in the weight room, working out, walking around with my tank top on at that weight, coming fresh from the gym, going straight to the cab, and all the dancers sitting around giggling and watching and looking at me, staring at me, giving me chances, throwing their keys, bending down in front of me so they can get my attention. Come on, bro. That stuff, that kind of shit happens was happening at that point in time 234 pounds guys let me let me let me repeat let me repeat 
for the ones that got some damn shit in their ears and they can't fucking hear. 234 pounds. 5'9". Yes, sir. I'm talking about I walk when I came in there. I came out from the gym, right? The girls, this is how they going to look at you. They gonna come out there. They go like boom, 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 on some temptations. Here. Doom, 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 doom. Ah, you know you make me wanna love you in the morning, in the evening, in the night time. It's the right time. Come on, face that. I know I fucked that shit up, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. They gonna be on you. And they gonna want you that what I always say, shout out to Ron Wills, that hot beef injection. Yes, sir. The hot beef injection was definitely administered at this weight. 234 pounds, guys. 234 pounds, guys. So now I'm a living testimony. Living testimony. So don't go around beating yourself up just because you ain't lean to some damn gym out uh gym shark athlete. Don't don't do it. Now, there's some girls that ain't gonna like that. It is what it is. But I'm gonna tell you, you could damn sure get your share at this weight. Stop bullshitting. I'm saying, guys, you see on the, uh, the club door, the club bouncers and stuff like that. Don't don't sleep on them. I'm telling you not. Nah. That represents power. So don't hey, just look powerful. The key is having a strong body. Have a, have a V. The V don't have to be a very very sharp V. Just have some broad shoulders. Just look look like having bigger chest. Don't have your stomach like hanging way over, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that. But like I'm saying, look physically imposing, especially up top. Have some legs on you too. You can have some legs. They want women like legs too. But you don't have to go too hard on them. You ain't got to be no extra big bodybuilder and shit with it. But what I'm saying is, women are always checking out a man's body. Whether you can be slim, I can't speak from the slimmer side because I ain't come from that side. But I can see, I can see when some guys gain some muscle and stuff like that. I've seen some differences with them as well. But from the big man side of things, bro, women are always checking out your body. So don't just think that you can be a slop and throw on some Amiri and that shit just gonna be all right. No, motherfucker, get your ass in the gym, get that chest up, get them shoulders up, get them arms up. I promise you, and I promise you, make that shit stick out. Even with your belly, that shit gonna still speak to some women. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, that is a fact. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and tell no bullshit to y'all because I've lived this. I've lived this shit. I got so many motherfucking stories. It's coming up in my Vimeo series. That shit almost complete. I'm telling you. So it's on demand going to be right. I'm going to show y'all. I'm a, Bro, I got so many stories for y'all. Like I, like I got to say, it's going to be worth it. I'm, I'm putting. I'm going to put out my all into this motherfucker. But y'all going to see where all this shit came from. All my experiences. Down to the last detail. Straight as explicit. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Coming to you another video. Coming to you another podcast, man. If you're enjoying the content, go on and click that like button. Go on and comment. Go on and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if you're willing to work at it. I'm out. And remember, women always checking out a man's body. I'm out. I'm about an person ain't really the type to go running and jump on the internet. I come like a virus, take over the system, and then I appear like a public threat. Might call up a bitch and then have a record. I'm not bumping my shit while she give me neck. Don't get it fucked up, cause I do hit the gym and I know that she digging my silhouette. I really don't fuck with too many. My trust ain't the same. I'm just keeping that shit stacked. Cause if niggas try me, I get unpredictable. Fuck it, I get to just see black. You mess with the fam, I'ma hit you with 10 with a little bitches. I ain't talking Mac. But I ain't no killer, don't push me to sand up against the wall, try to touch my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bitch, I'm glad it's smooth. I'm dropping bars, fresh out the penitentiary. And yeah, I put them on, they act grand niggas and lost memory. So now Real niggas, I think not, maybe coincidentally They bitches gave me neck and got